Her name is Marina Stepanova, and her speech is entitled The Importance of Being Kind to Yourself. Marina Stepanova is an award-winning author of Resourceful Mum, Take the First Step to, to the Life You Love. She's a qualified counsellor and psychotherapist and has spent the last 10 years supporting adults and children with autism and learning disabilities to lead happy and fulfilling lives. In the last 10 months, she has been focusing on building her private practice and inspiring women to build a life of their dreams for themselves and their families. So please put your hands together, give a really warm welcome, Maria! <laughs> I am powerful and I am loving and I have nothing to fear. When I was eight years old, I had a dream of becoming a dancer. And there was a dance studio about 20 minutes away from my house. So one morning, I asked my grandmother to take me there for a lesson. As we were getting closer to the studio, I could feel my heart pumping in my throat, ready to jump out. I forgot to mention that dancing, as well as being one of my biggest dreams, was also one of my biggest fears. As I walked into the studio, I could see all of these pretty, slim girls getting ready for their lesson. And I was neither pretty nor slim. Panic. Pure panic, they would all laugh at me. I would look just like a big, clumsy hippo amongst pretty little ballerinas. My nan just stood right there by the door. She knew the routine. It wasn't the first time we came into the studio, you see. I looked at the girls, turned round, walked out the door. There is an art school here as well, you know. My nan said to me, maybe you should sign up for that instead. Four years later, I was graduating with an art school diploma. I still couldn't draw and I still wanted to dance. I, I wasn't happy and I wasn't proud of myself. I'm 33 now. I have two beautiful children of my own. And I want them to grow up happy, courageous, passionate about life. Now I know that it starts with me. So last November, I started attending personal development seminars and I signed up for a book writing course. I was learning from people so passionate about their lives and not afraid to stand out and make a difference. It was then that I decided I was never going to walk out that door ever again. I was done feeling like that big clumsy hippo amongst pretty little ballerinas. <laughs> the funny thing was that I wasn't even that big or clumsy. It was just the story that I was telling myself. So I started telling myself a different story. I am worthy. I am intelligent. I am brave. And when I believed it, miracles started to happen. I finally opened my own private practice in counseling and psychotherapy that I was afraid to do for years. I wrote a book and it was published in May. I signed up for the speak up challenge. And I am right here now standing in front of you. And it's a huge deal for me. So when I think about my life in a year from now, I just feel so excited. And you too can tell yourself a different story. Start by being kind to yourself daily and you'll see how your life changes like that. My clients come to me with all sorts of stuff 
that they want to explore and either get rid of or turn into something beautiful. I can help you too. If you're a mom, read my book and see how it changes your world. If you're not a mom, go to my website and get in touch. You are powerful and you are loving and you have nothing to fear. I would like to leave you with a quote by J.K. Rowling. I love it because it gives me power to execute my dreams and ideas. Everything is possible if you have enough nerve. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.